Renee is puking. Again, again. Oh, man. <laughs> the, I, I was sick the first time when we launched. Sea sick, guys. <laughs> how? If I can't do it, then how, Sam? You just have to continue your dream. lesson of Forward. anchoring Forward. and this is the first time we've reversed out of our top. We are anchoring out for the first time. We're getting our lesson from a fellow neighbor here in Talaga and it's our first time motoring back out from the day that we actually launched and came here and this is our first time coming out. And usually during sunset you have a lot of uh, boats going out at this time doing charters. So we're going for a kind of sunset. Open the cover. Neutral. Neutral. Drop the uh, anchor. Tied up anchor. You got to pull it and let it drop in. Pull from the front. You got to pull the shank. Lift the shank, it will drop. Lift the shank, it will drop in already. Lift the 
shank. Mm. You got to stand in front, lift the shank. Show us what the shank is. You mean lamb shank? I know lamb shank. Shank. This is shank la, you fool. <laughs> shank, shank. This one there, right? Yeah, this is a shank. Let go. Let go. Lock the brake. Lock the brake. Quick. Hello guys. I'm cooking and Sam is editing the latest video of our anchoring lesson from our neighbor. As you can see what happened, right? I have never watched any videos, any lessons on anchoring whatsoever. But Sam has watched everything. She understand how long the, the chain should be, the depth of the water, blah, blah, blah. As you can see how blur I was, right? Very blur lah, you know lah. But at the end of the day, I have to ask you a question. Do you hire someone who has read 10 books? Stops there. Or you hire someone who wants to read but doesn't know how to read? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, by right, Sam should have gone to the front and then I should like you know at the engine way easier right but our coach is so responsible such a gentleman he sent me out there to someone who doesn't know nothing i look i look so blur like so why calm. is he responsible he's a gentleman because it's it's very dangerous if you actually look at what happened outside there you see our bow that's why we fixed the whole platform and everything so that i can actually stand safely right now no no and that video we have nothing so that's why I fixed the wood and everything so it's safer. Now she can go outside and uh, I mean at the bow and then I can be at the engine because uh, that will be our next video and see what happens, okay? Dab. Don't touch it, Ray. Dab. 4.7. Instruction. <laughs> you don't give instruction. <laughs> reverse. Tiller straight. Huh? Tiller straight. Reverse. Brakes. Huh? Wait. Wait. I will give the instruction. You drop. Okay, release it slowly.
this aligned a bit. Yeah. Tell me how much chain has gone out. Look out for the cable tie, yeah? The final 10 meters will be only one single cable tie. <laughs> Cable tie out. Two cable ties, what are they? Two cable ties is 20 meters. Okay, what is our depth? 4.7. How much chain must go out? Times 5. What's the depth again? 4.7 meters. 4.7 times 5, 20 meters. So we, we need only 5. There's a 20, so we're past it already. We're 20 now. Final 20. Huh? This is the final 20. So we've already let out 30. <laughs> so that means we passed it up. Yes. Okay. So we are we, we have enough out. Okay, neutral. Neutral. Okay, Vinay? Yeah. Come here. <coughs> In front there, there's a little wood. Yeah. You need to take the wood and lock it there. Stop it. Move the wood. You need to stop the chain. No, the wood must come 90 degree. Yeah. Is the chain locked already? Is it locked? There's a hook there, right? Is it hook on? This is the... Listen to me. It's a chain on the hook there, on the metal hook. No, it's not. The hook is this one, right? Okay, so we want to explain to you exactly what Eric means by the hook. Which is actually not a hook. It's a... It's a, I don't know what you call it, but we'll show it to you. So this is our anchor. This is the chain. It's now been galvanized. This is what Eric is talking about. There's a wedge here that you can put the chain and it stops it from moving. And this is the piece of wood that slides forward. When you do this, the chain is able to move. When you move it away, the chain will wedge here and stop. Is it on? Okay, release the chain. Chain? Yeah. More chain out. Pull it out. Pull it out. The front. Yeah. In front of the in front of windlass only. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Chain touch. Pull the chain out from the from the windlass. This one take out. Pull the chain forward. I want to see it sagging. So it means pull up. Um, Vinay, huh? come and hold. Oh. I want it to see long that it cannot move. I want to put the pressure onto this plate. So it has to sag like that? Yeah. Good idea? Yeah, okay. Reverse? Reverse! Yeah. What's the RPM? 10,000. That's 1,000, right? Is it 1,000? Uh, yes, 1,000, sorry. 1,005 1,005 Put it on neutral Neutral now was we dropped the chain <coughs> there was a little bit of comedy show because the chain went into one lump 
remember? It was out of control. The, yeah, it's too fast. Okay, okay so my fault. You, need, you need to control the, the brake yeah. so that it go down slowly. Probably 4 meters, so you estimate about 4 meter, 10 meter, stop, let the wind pull the boat back and set it. No, no engine power. Then after that, you slowly release it and then move. But then the wind doesn't push us after that. So we waited a while, so we engaged. Reverse, reverse but no no high rpm just very low and then it's just throttling very slowly slowly tension the thing so when you see the line tension i ask you to release it so you release more line now yeah okay and you didn't know how much line you actually release yeah so how do you know you're not you're not uh, uh, drifting or whatever you use a marker that is the man-made island so if you stand there can you show me how you stand with your hands okay if you look left and right that is your marker so this is how you tell that the boat is not moving. If it move, you will realize that the, the angle will be out already. So this is the two marker. Then we slowly increase. So now it's tension really right. And yeah. you have enough scope out already, right? Yeah. More than 5 to 1 or about there. And then we slowly increase the RPM. To tension it. To, to put more load. That means now you're using engine power to slowly set. The mistake what some people do is that they drop the whole line, then they reverse maximum, the thing jerk. Mm. So when you jerk, you will cause all the damage. Anchoring is a, is a, probably take you half an hour easily. You, it's a very relaxed and you want to set it because you want to get to know the bottom and see whether the bottom will hold you, whether your anchor has set properly. Okay. You will know when you when you feel the boat how it behaves. Right now, you can see that there's a point. That's a point. You know that it is holding. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go in, and then I want you to give instruction. Okay. First, you say reverse. Then I will have to repeat back to you reverse. Reverse one thousand five. How straight do we want it? Must always stay at the marker you look under so that we are not moving far from it. 2000! You must do a check. 2000! 2000! Tension is good! We are reversing at 2000 rpm to make sure that the anchor is holding. And by doing that, marker? we look at the markers, starboard yeah, and port. Not moving. The is there. And we haven't moved. So now what? Uh, congratulations, we've just anchored. Okay. Coach fall is calling in, fall us. In. Taking a little bit longer. No, the, the, coming out, marker. Okay, so marker is. Uh, yeah, you got another 10 meters to go. So this is 30 meters. Renee's puking. <laughs> again, again. I, I was sick the first 
time when we launch. So I guess everybody has a first time to sleep. Detik itu pun kini berlalu Telah bertukar menjadi segala gala Apa saja bebas semaunya Yang pasti tidak jadi kita Lines must go under. See how I read that? Under and then over. It's okay, just forward only. Take your time. Forward, huh? Yeah, just forward. Don't need to go ref, huh? Just, just forward one notch only. Yeah. You move very, very slowly. And I want to very gradual glide, very slow in. So, usually, this is the most stressful thing to do when you're docking a boat it'll be Renee's first fast. time pull the course Oh, 
Ed's coming. Okay. So kind. Okay. Straight. That's what neighbors do. They help each other. Ed's coming. Done.